All right, everybody, we're going to do a recorded episode following up from the live episode we did of my Let's Play series here of Home State Farming in Vineland, New Jersey. Uh, what I really wanted to do was just, you know, record one for once because I have the time for once in my life. Well, maybe not once, but you know what I'm saying. I'm overdue for a recording of one. And besides, who knows, there, this might be a nice little supercut. I have new editing software that I've just started to learn how to use that I think will be um, a little bit more capable. So that's what is exciting to me. So we got $2,731 off of that sale of tomatoes. So that'll just be a slow, steady income increase for us month to month. Go ahead and set you back here that's how we do that and we are at the stage where we can easily start cutting here but it's a little early um, I like how the different stages of grass like this this map has done a good job of like having what looks like to be a grass field um, versus like the grass that is in existence in the game normally so I kind of like that um, but because we uh, did what we did, we want to just quickly recap here. We have a new t um, wind rower, which is going to be great because that's going to save us quite a bit of space. We won't have a use for this guy for a little while until we start planting things in which that we could harvest. Um, we might take a break and sell this guy off to take the money and to really like upgrade our harvesting of our grass. As you can see, we've done that with this new mower. Great new mower, nice and wide. Um, it's so heavy that we had to put some weights on the front of this, which I'm not even sure this is even enough weights, but it's better than no weights. Um, uh, and once we put this down on the ground, it stops lifting the front of the truck the tractor up. So it's just for moving purposes. Um, um, and then we have this baler, which you guys remember from the last uh, time we did some baling, is great. Um, but this tractor here, although useful, is not really designed to pull the tractor um we pulled this tra uh, this baler so it's a little too heavy for this so i'd like to get a new tractor um possibly another one of those because it's a nice little um powerhouse for a small medium-sized tractor um it's like 180 horsepower which is more than enough to do this um which i normally use that to do this but you know we'll see then we obviously still have this little baby tractor here which we could use to do pretty much all the other things like spray our herbicide, tow that small trailer, even even tow the big trailer, it'll do that. Um, it'll spray, uh, spread lime and fertilizer on our fields. It'll barely do the lime um, part of it, but now that we're doing grass, I don't think I need to do lime anymore, which for now that is fine. We have this cultivator here, which we really aren't going to be using until we decide to switch fields. Um, again, I'm thinking about selling off the things that we know we don't need and then using that money to buy other things, which on sale right now, oh, this is on sale. That is really tempting. I don't really need that if we're doing silage the way we're doing it. Um, but, uh, yeah, and I think we still have that um, uh, trailer over there, which I think we can now afford. Um, a better bale, a bale trailer, a uh, bale loader, but I think we're going to hold off. Yeah, we could get this guy, but I really, even though it can hold, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, looks like 12, maybe, maybe more. Yeah, maybe more. It can do more, but I, I just don't really care for these ones that like just kind of like they appear on there. I like the ones that actually like physically load them on. So we might go with this one, which costs 50000 which is again why I was thinking about getting rid of the harvester. Because until we get to harvesting, we really don't need it. Um, and I know that's probably what we're going to do right now. We're going to bite the bullet and do it right now. So we can go ahead and sell you and the header. We don't have any other reason to keep the cedar just in case. We'll keep all these other things. We'll go ahead and sell you. And let us buy a new bale trailer. There you are. 
130 horsepower. So that is great. Do we have anything else we need here? That just doesn't change anything. So yeah, buy that. And then we might be able to still buy that medium tractor I was talking about. Yeah, we still have enough money to buy another one of these guys. So we might do that, but we don't need to buy it right this moment. But there we are. So we're, we're ready to do that. Um, let's go drop this off out of the way. Let's actually go pull it through and drop it next to where the tomatoes populate. We'll move the other trailer off out of the way. Ah, that tree is so annoying. Putting the, the uh, tomato barn right here was a bit of a problem. <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay. So that is there. Guess we'll drop that off. We'll go get the bale trailer and move it out of the way. Although this tractor is not meant for it, it could at least pull it. It won't make, be able to make it work very well. But it will be able to at least move it. Oh, yeah, ever so barely. But I can do it. We'll pull it inside the fenced area here because it's not in any use at this moment. where it'll be and then we will get our wind rower attached to you because we are going to do you second and I'm pretty sure you can run that wind rower so all right and we are going to fast forward to the next day and we'll get ourselves harvesting I believe next month let's get sleeping do oh, that was it. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do it again. Alright, looks like we have reached the full harvest stage. Yep. So let's just get you going. Oh yeah, making nice tracks. The tractor can just barely do it, but it's doing it, and that's all that matters. It's going to cut the things that are not a field? Yes, it will. That's okay. Grass is grass. So that is doing that job. We're going to let that get a nice head start. Man, I thought this tractor would be able to handle that. It really did. Let me see here. What's it require? 180 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. And the other tractor is... It's 210 supposedly so it supposedly could do it it's just I think a little too heavy for it I mean it's doing it yeah it's just gonna take a little while but I like the neater cuts. That's two passes in the time that I think probably we'll be doing two of the smaller passes that I'll probably end up doing. So this will help significantly. And then this tractor is not ready for use. I'll get you ready. 
get you squared up. Yeah, you can function at full speed, so that won't be a problem. Alright, so we'll let this mower do its thing for a little while, and we'll check back in with you guys once this field has been fully cut. Might want to save our money now for an even bigger tractor now that I'm looking at it, just because of the struggle that this is happening. And we don't have a bigger tractor for sale, like on, on sale right now. Um, that one's 210, 190. I'd like to get a nice, plenty large one here. Here's 150. So it's, we're looking at spending 150 grand, it looks like. Because even on the large tractors, yeah, we're spending over 200. So. Well, this season, we'll use a slower tractor. A very slow tractor. Can't even get to 9 miles an hour and stay there. It keeps, like, changing gears to first and then second gear. And then failing and going back down to one. Whatever. I mean, it's cutting. That's all I can really ask for. And then this tractor is not going to have enough gusto in it to do this at full speed either. But we'll see where because we got fifty thousand dollars last time off the fields. So if we can get another fifty thousand off of it with relative ease. And much quicker, we'll be at ninety thousand, and we'll be in a much better position within the next season to finally get there. I mean, ideally, the best thing to do would be to like keep expanding these fields and getting larger and larger fields. But you know, we'll do this instead. So get you lined up. Sweet. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't function at full speed. It also goes around nine miles an hour, but it, it's gonna catch up with the other one, so I just wanted to see how well this wind rose and this wind rose amazing compared to the other wind rower we had. And we're slowing down, why? Probably because of the Yeah. I've had this problems on this uh on this area mm -hmm. once before. Back at it. There we go. It doesn't like how close it is to the field, but it is doing it. It does it pretty well. So that, that's kind of exciting. We'll let it do a turn here on its own and let it get started on the next pass. And then we'll stop it, I think, because I don't want it to catch up to the mower that quickly, because it will catch up really quickly. Get it turned around. Let's see, is it gonna get is it gonna get the full thing? Curious. It is. Nice. It's able to get two full passes. Alright, so then maybe stop it. Right there. That's very cool. So that's nice. Let that do its thing. Let's get this started up. Oh, 
Alright, it's able to do it. One pass, no problem. But really slowly. We're going to delete our course play as soon instead of a new course play, but not until we get a better tractor to do uh, the mowing part. But yeah, here we go. We are going to be making some massive changes to the way this goes. Also, we made our bales bigger with the baling machine. So instead of 7,000 liter bales, they're going to be like 180 centimeter bales, which makes them like, what, 9,000 liter bales? No, 12. Yeah, as you can see, much larger bales. So we'll have less bales to deal with, which is nice. And done. So yeah, that's a much larger bale. Now, supposedly, it's a 180 centimeter bale. The other baling machine should be able to handle it. Just want to double check. It says 107, 180 centimeter bales, so if it can do it, that'll be great. Just finish off this row. But yeah, if that's the case, we're gonna get like a bale every row, which will be significantly less bales. Not the 40 that we had last time. It was a little too much if you ask me. Alright, well, we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit um, when these fields are fully cut and we've windrowed them. Um, you know, we'll do a little bit of a montage in between just to keep you guys entertained. We'll see you in a little bit.
All right, so we have finished cutting. Um, you'll notice that I left some grass behind. Um, well, mostly because the um, the machine, uh, when doing the cuts, you know, kind of like stops on its own to uh, stops on its own to like give itself some space um, from doing turns when it reaches the road because of the. Um, poles and things and the light, the electrical wires, but, oh wow, it does stack three high, so that's pretty nice. Oh gosh, okay, well that didn't work out the way I thought, let's, there we go. So just three high. So yeah, we could easily fit all of this on here, I think. We'll just loop around as many times as we'd like. Okay, well that one's not getting counted. Because we didn't uh, turn correctly. Good. Yeah, it does extend. I didn't know it extended up. Okay. Uh, so, general rule give the third one plenty of time to go up. It takes a little bit longer. Now for the next one. Yeah. This is going to be nice. Okay. We've got to give that third one plenty of time, otherwise, we might have issues where we hit it and then it doesn't do what it's supposed to. Alright, so let's get the third one. Yep, third one. Let's go for the far one. Nice. I'm glad this thing isn't tipping over. Look at that one last. Uh, you might have enough room. We'll see. Uh, we don't have a perfect even amount, I don't think. Maybe we do. I mean, if it does, then we just have, like, literally the perfect machine. No, we don't have an even it out. So let's see. Will it fit the last row? It will. I can get the last one on. Sweet. That is pretty darn cool. That is so much better than before. So now we can just leave it on the trailer and store it for the season until it's ready to be turned in as profit. Oh yeah, let's close you off and put you away. Connect. Does that close up? Unload bales. No, it does not. Okay. So, yeah, we are finished with that. We have everything put away except for the tractors themselves. But otherwise, we are ready to go for the rest of the season until that is finished in the meantime we could be doing other things like logging and other stuff but I think that will be it for now and we'll see what happens in the next episode when we go to sell it all probably another 50,000 bucks and maybe some buying some things on sale as things come along alright guys we appreciate for you stopping by this is Chuck Thunder in my Vineland series uh, home, home state uh, series and hope you're enjoying it. If you do, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below. Take care.